page 13, folk dance. 4-4 four, four time, no sharps or flats. Well, whatever key we're in, I think we're kind of in the key of A minor here. Now this, looking at it, you can say it either looks really scary with all these eighth notes, or you can look at it and say, this looks like fun, let's try it out. Well, I'll leave that up to you, but let's go over it carefully. One hand at a time, make sure we get the notes and the rhythms. There's a lot of eighth notes. You're here, and the notes are all jumbled up. So it's one and two and. And again, I'm just connecting everything for right now. One and. A lot of repetition in that. Measure five. One and two and three and four. Looks like in this piece we're staying right here, we're not moving around at all. That may help a little bit. Left hand, well you got these broken chords in the left hand. Here, here's this two. Kind of keeping a nice beat going until you get to measure five and three, two, three, and four, and. Rest, measure seven, one, and two. And measure nine, you have a half rest and then a note one, two, three. That's tied. You're going to hold it down for five counts, and then on beat four of measure ten, it's one, and then you're back to here. Put the hands together. Basically, that's what you're doing. Measure five, you're here. And four. Your, your hands are mirroring each other here. You're using the same finger in each hand at the same time. And then the next hand, next one you're not. Measure seven, you're not. Measure eight, you are. So sometimes you're mirroring the hands and sometimes you're not. Measure nine. One, two, three, four, one, and. See, they're, they're overlapping here, here. And then going on, measure 11, it's one, and. See, that D in the right hand was tied over. And then the last two measures, you're here. The quarter notes and a C in the right. Here, I changed a little bit at the end. So once you have a handle on the notes and the rhythms, we'll go back and put in the slurs in the right hand. The left hand, it says legato. It means you connect the left hand. It, there's a few staccatos in it, but otherwise you connect the left hand. Well, except for the rest, of course. So at the beginning, it's... See, I'm only lifting up in the right hand. The left hand stays down. For measures four to five, you lift up both hands and we have staccatos, wrist staccato here. And four. Rest, measure seven, the first note staccato, and then you connect. And then we're back to connecting everything again. Four and one and two. Connecting everything. Okay, I said that. Dynamic wise, it's soft. That's the... I tend to put a swell in those, but that's the idea. And the left has to be very soft. And then when you get to measure five, it's moderately loud in the right hand. The left hand can come up to about a moderately soft, but keep it under the right hand. And you're staying at that level until measure nine. Now, after the rest, now you come up again, you're loud. And the left hand can come up to moderately loud. And then go back down to soft. And measure 11, that's where you're soft. And the left hand is very soft. So to go back to measure nine again, you're loud. One, two, three, four, 
bar one and soft. And at the end, the last two measures, you're soft, there's a retardando there, you slow down, you go down to very soft, the left hand goes down to super soft, whatever that is. We want to hear the B. This is, this, how soft can you play that? That's hard to do. It takes practice. Good practice though. So this is one of the things you can practice when you're doing the scales. Try playing one hand louder than the other and take turns as to which hand is louder. Speed wise, I think about as fast as I've been going. It's, it's the feel of the piece. It's not the beat. It's the feel of it. How, just a gentle stroll. And that last measure is four counts. You slow down the count, but don't go beyond four counts. It will sound like it's a lot longer than four counts because you've slowed the count down, but still it's not a fermata, it's not a hold, it's just four counts and you lift up. I'd like to play this with you very slowly, well it's slow anyway, just to make sure you have the right notes and rhythms. I'm not going to do the dynamics. I'll give us four counts. One and two and ready and go. And one and two. and one and two and three and four and one and two and one and two